All right, so we just got to the spot. Let's check out this bay. Super nice, secluded beach. No wind, the water is dead flat. Super nice day. Get us some firewood. We just go gather our firewood at one time. We don't have to come back. We just do it one time and we're good. Ooh. Well, yeah, it's our firewood. Let's go. Time to start foraging. Hopefully find our next meal and some bait. There we go. Got one. Yeah. These rocky shoreline areas have a lot of variety and a lot of life. We have shells, crab, octopus, eels, seaweed, just to name a few. You just have to know where to look and how to harvest it. Oh, nice one. Pinch it hard. There you go. Yeah. Goodies. Fat ama crabs. Some nice opihis. See what we can come up with for tonight's menu. Maybe some poke or who knows. It's not so big the gonads, but it's good enough to make a sauce. Yeah. All right, so while Dane guys set up camp, I'm gonna try and get us some dinner. So my weapon of choice for today is a seven foot, three piece breakdown spear by Ski Prong. This thing is lightweight, accurate, and packs a super heavy punch. Highly recommend it. So I went into the shallows and I did find this pile of mullet. We call these wo wo. We're not going after these today, so I left them alone. Right here, I get close enough to a pile of nenui and get a good holding shot. So the fish that I did find on this day were all in pockets. There were colas in certain areas, but in between those areas, not much going on. Pretty barren. I found several taco during this dive, but most of them were too small, so I let them go. If you want to see them grow, you gotta let them go. Honestly, there's not too much fish here, but there are some monster moray eels. Eventually, I put away the three prong and I got the spear gun. 
and I was able to shoot this nice size veke. Perfect size for dinner tonight. Right before we jumped out, I found this nice taco hole. Perfect for some fresh bait, or maybe we can throw it on the grill. Who knows? Always something good to have when you're camping. Please bite, please bite, please bite, please bite. It's so right here, it's Rocky bite. Boy catches a it's nice a moana it's on the hand pole. It's a it's a this is one of the best baits for it's catching omilu or a GT. A so we casted it's it out, a set our bell, and didn't get a strike. But that's fishing, right? Upon the bed, like the stars that sun to shine. Yavaiki, she helps me feel alright. She sits alone now, she has no words, just Hey guys, so here we are. We're gonna camping, and we're still gonna try to present you guys an awesome dish, off the record kind. You know what I mean? <laughs> Today's a beautiful day. Very nice day. So glad we came down here. It's just us, the ocean, some some music. Yep. Don't get much better than that. Fish, Ryan. We got we got a great fire. All of our camping gear is portable, like this folding table with uh, storage underneath. Folds up like an accordion. The cutting board as well from Toadfish. And it also has two knife sharpeners, which really comes in handy when you're camping. Good stuff. And we're gonna put in our Vecchi, kind of right in the middle. Cut our slits. It's gonna be like a camping style steamer. Yeah, camping style steamer. When you stay with us, we don't ever go hungry. As you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Big boys. You know what I mean? Don't ever trust a skinny cook. Never. Get some in the cavities. So we rubbed our ginger and garlic on top. Now we're gonna add our sliced up onions. Okay, now we're gonna fold it up. Always a golden can, baby. Make a low. Make a low bowl. All right, that's good. That's to create our steam. This one doesn't dry out. Too. Fire is hot. Let's cut right through. Were there a lot of coles out there? Um, there's certain areas that had it. They weren't like all over. We don't want to overcook it. We still want to have nice flaky, flaky meat. Let's try that again. We're gonna add butter. Oh, 
Butter garlic, huh? It's kind of like a main ingredient. Is that what's going on? And then we got our onions that we diced up earlier. And we got our uni. It's all the hard work from today, the uni. This thing is going to be sweet. Yeah. I tried it just by itself and it's like naturally sweet and very creamy. So now we got this boy. We're going to add in our milk. So you don't need to add salt. Oh, this fire is raging. Okay guys, we're gonna add in our fish. Oh man. That looks crazy. And I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah. Oh way. Yeah. I Kole uni sauce. At the ocean. At the ocean. <laughs> this is something we'd make at home, but hey, even if we're camping, we're still gonna do it. You don't need to add salt because of the uni and then your capers. It adds the saltiness to it, so it's good, it's creamy. Should be in a restaurant. First time with Sakana Syndicate. Yeah, first time camping with us. Awesome. Mm. So good. So sweet. So juicy and soft. And then the little crunchy things are really good with it too. Keepers. Mm -hmm, keepers. All right, so these are opihi. They're limpets. They're shells that are stuck to the side of the rocks here. So we pry them off. And there's, uh, there's a couple different types. Basically, blackfoot and yellowfoot. People say the yellow foot is sweeter, more desirable. We got some nice ones today. So we're gonna put them on our grill. When they're done cooking, they'll naturally just pop themselves out of the shell. We're gonna add Dane's special shoyu chili pepper, garlic, and all that good stuff sauce. And that's it. I love, opihi is like a delicacy. It's one of my favorites. It's like eating a, it's like a Hawaiian abalone or something. Hawaiian gold, guys. Hawaiian gold. I think the closest thing it would come to would be like eating um, like a raw oyster. That's what I always tell people. It's like a very briny and sweet and I don't know, there's nothing that quite tastes like that to me. I love it. All right, these bad boys are done. You can tell when they separate from the shell. And you don't need to add um, seasoning because they're soaked with um, salt water. And have lots of natural flavor. You don't need to add any seasoning. We're just gonna add beans, magical sauce. That's gonna spice it up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, <coughs> look at that. Oh, no. Ooh, wee. See, it actually looks like an abalone. Same kind of animal. I'm telling you, that's like the best raw oyster you'll ever have. It has the same kind of brininess, but the texture is so much better. It's not like that mushy kind of chalky texture. It's like a little chewy. Some people don't like to eat the guts, but honestly, that's like the miso, as Japanese say. It's like the part of the flavor. Oh, so good. You sure you don't want to try it? No? No. Up to you. I was hoping you say no. Okay, we're gonna add some of the shoyu sauce. Oh man. You see how flaky it is? Yeah. When you steam fish, it comes out just so perfect. It holds its own texture, holds itself together. And you just add your flavor. The sauce and everything adds to it because this is like your white meat type of fish it's good mm. very hot <laughs> <laughs> spicy soft what do you think of the taste of the veke 
Is it like mm -hmm. different than other fish? Yeah. Yeah. It has its own taste, yeah. Yeah. Mm. For those of you who don't know, a veke is just a big oama. Oama is like a little bait fish. We used to catch big fish, but when it gets to a certain size, we call it veke. Yeah. It's a goat fish. Yep, the fish was the first course, and now we got the second course coming. All right, that was an awesome dinner, but now it's back to fishing. So I'm gonna use this setup right here. I'm gonna try and get a, hopefully a oyo or something. So to catch that, I'm gonna use a, a ama crab. So let's see, let's see. Oh, there he is, right there. That was easy. So I like to hook it right on the abdomen through the top like so so when the fish bites he's gonna grab the legs but eventually he's gonna grab the whole thing not noise all right guys gonna give you a quick rundown of my setup I got a flash bomb 10 pound test monofilament a hook size 5 I think and a glowing grub if you guys want to see more about nighttime fishing, mempachi fishing, check out our last video. We'll drop a link. You can check that out. But yeah, our goal is to catch a mempachi right now so Dane can slide it. So let's do it. See what it is. Real. Real, real, baby. Pachi. Pachi, pachi. That's a good pachi, slider. Good slider. Right I like. There we go. Slider. Light. Oh. That's a good slider right there. The Pachi's like a big head. A Vilvear tiger stripe for some reason. Like why? Wow, that's what I was tripping. Right? Like why? Why would you be tiger stripe? Oh, good size. So these fish, you gotta be careful. They have, see that spikes. spikes? If you grab it like normal, you know people pinch the head, you get stabbed by that. That thing hurts, man. It hurts so bad. I think there's like a little bit of venom in it, to be honest. Any guesses what it is? What you think, Pachi, Alihi? I think Pachi. You think Pachi? Yeah, that's a, oh, good Pachi. That's why we said small. But, oh, oh, oh. Frisky, though. Look at that. It has like that orange in it, yeah? Yeah, see that? Okay, we're going to slide bait this Mempachi. So we're going to use a big hook. Hook it about three quarters down the back. There you go. Hopefully catch a GT or something. So there's this um, slide buckle. The line snaps into it. Now we're good. Keeping the pole high, letting the Mempachi slide down the line. You want it to go all the way down the line to the stopper ring at the bottom. Huh? It's Mr. Bobenda. <laughs> Where are you? Right there, it starts screaming, yeah. <laughs> In that the down line, we gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
These avail veil are a little bit too small, so we're gonna let them go. Let them live another day until they're bigger and stronger. It's at 1, 1.30 a.m. Dane has something, I think. Breakfast time. Didn't have any action last night, but that's okay. Time to start slowly packing up. This may sound like common sense, but please make sure to clean up your campsite and take all your trash with you. That white bag has our trash plus trash we found on the beach. But this has been an awesome camping trip. We had nice weather, we had good water, we shot fish, we cooked epic dishes, and you can't ask for much more than that. So again, big shout out to our sponsor, Ski Prong, for this seven foot collapsible three prong. This thing did its job and it's perfect for camping and hiking. Check them out, please. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.